Chris Mason, Alan Warren a little. Oh, with yeah, you can be quite mean and moody, that is true, actually. Now, we are very much looking forward to these matches this afternoon. Uh, Peter Wright is one who's in good form in terms of the matches that he's won, but not necessarily the way he's been playing during his matches, and won a match against Johnny Clayton last night, didn't take his chances. It's a match he could have lost quite easily. I mean, if we go back... Yeah, from Peter Wright, how relieved he was to get through that, being 4-0 down, then 5-5, five, five, and then squeaking through. But, of course... Wright is so experienced and he's got that advantage over Daryl Gurney, who himself is in very good form. Yeah, he's, he's also, I, you know, it's a, it's a real pick and match that one. I could. Daryl Gurney now up to number four in the world, yeah. which is absolutely fantastic for him. Now, somebody who we always talk absolutely loads about for very obvious reasons is Michael Van Gerwen. We haven't really talked about him too much in this tournament because he's just gone about his business yeah. very calmly, quietly, very confidently. But how ominous is that? Yeah, I mean, he. He's number one in the world for... An MVG playing Simon Whitlock. Now, in the first round here last year, Simon yes. Whitlock had a dart to beat him, lost it, and then a week later was whitewashed by him in the World Series finals. It feels yeah. like there's something mental about that battle. Well, he's... The, and the, the one problem for Whitlock has at the moment, he's a throw... Rob Cross is an interesting one. We've talked about what a phenomenal breakthrough year he had. He came from... In February, he was ranked zero in the world rankings, and now he's up to 26. Ranked Extra... zero, I like that. <laughs> As in, he came in at zero, yeah. of course, in, uh, in February. And look where he is now. Interesting bit of experience for him yesterday on the big stage. He played against Chizzy, who had a back problem, and it seemed to unsettle him. He was playing fine, and then he realised that Chizzy wasn't playing at his full game, and it affected him. It definitely... Um, I mean, he's a fabulous... Yes, a great story. He's up against Michael Smith last on today. Well, as we mentioned, Michael Van Gerwen and Simon Whitlock kicking things off for us in the Etias Arena here in Hasselt. Both men have been looking ahead to their match with Dan Dawson. Tonight for our semi finals, Chris Mason, Alan Warren, a little. You two never not lost, not lost on stage for mm, I don't know about 10 years now. <laughs> Great. It's a fabulous yeah. record, in fairness. <laughs> now, MVG, he's got a tiny little chance of winning this thing again. He's won it three years in a row. He's won all 13 matches that have ever been played here in Hasselt because it's our last Andy year. Has here. His lucky mask. Never seen the bloke lose in the flesh, whether I'm working or not, in two and a half years. It's a little bit nuts, isn't right. it? I think he likes the ITV tournaments. <laughs> he does seem to, doesn't he? And he's also half decent at darts, which gives him a chance. But he's... Have that one, wasn't it? I mean, that one-on-one -on -one was the craziest one for me. Got out of fourth gear. You know, he's got another two gears to... He just loves winning, doesn't he? As all the very, very top players are absolutely desperate to do. He's up against Australian Kyle Anderson, who's having a fabulous time of things at the moment. He came through a really tricky-looking match against the Champions League winner Mensal Sulevich earlier. Yeah, he couldn't help but be impressed with that performance. Um, he kept Mensal. He's got, he got gears. As we know, we've seen he can average 110. Else, who's looking very confident at the moment, and for good reason, is Daryl Gurney, bearing in mind yeah. earlier this month he won the World Grand Prix. What sort of chance do you give him? Well, he's got a very good... Great Peter, just couldn't finish. Uh, and he gave him too much of a... And somebody who's desperate to become a proven winner in an incredibly short period of time is Rob Cross. We've been talking all tournament about a whitewashed Schindler yeah. in the first match, beat Chizzy, although he did have a back problem, but he was still on top before yeah, he's that. He's learning... He's got the talent, he's got the work ethic, and he seems to have the composure as well on the big stage, which is relatively new to him. Well, Michael Van Gerwen is, of course, the man to beat yet again at the European Championship. He's not lost in this event since the 